is day 15 already and plenty to show you again. I uh, have Robert Beer here, a St. Bernardus up, uh, Upt 12. Um, St. Bernardus is a beer that we also served in the bar we worked and it has a story to it. Uh, there was one person who drank it. Well, there were more, but one person who came in weekly who drank it and who, who would love to drink it on a bit warmer temperature than the fridge. So we would, on that specific day, I think it was Wednesday evenings, we would also work, always work on Wednesday evenings and we always knew our customers. There were groups and they would come every week. And um, we would take one out of the fridge, put it on the counter so it would be warm on the perfect temperature when that person came. <laughs> so Robert opened this and was like, hey, I know this one. And we have to keep it a bit warmer than the regular temperature from the fridge. So yeah, it's a very heavy one. It's a 10% alcohol. I think we both must have drunk it, but... I'm not sure uh, if it's a, f a fan favorite, <laughs> but we'll see. Um, it's from Belgium. Uh, it is Brewery Saint Bernard, Belgium, and the uh, road is Trappistenweg, um, which this is a uh, Trappisten beer, uh, which means it's brewed by monks. I think, as far as I know. Uh, then, let's dive into this one. Bright and cheeky. By Volmet Ferve. And we have definitely gotten to the green. Tiny bits of teal. Very curious. Bit of yellowish. Yeah camera doesn't really pick that up but in real life you can see a shimmer of yellow in in between like here yeah camera picks that up love it and um, it seems to be a really nice fade and I still have not decided what to make with it but I think a sweater might be something that will be perfect um, I mean the amount of yarn 24 minis of 20 Rams makes a decent sweater for me, so I might have to Google for that. Um, let's get rituals. Number 15 says, be sweet to your skin. This foaming shower gel from the Ritual of Ying brings calm and tranquility for body and soul. Nice shiny bottle with that light behind it. We really need the light at the moment. Uh, it's a really great day. Uh, Ritual of Ying, your path to inner peace, relax, calming, foaming shower gel, sacred lotus and yuyube. That smells very nice. It kind of reminds me like Spitzel um, for the Dutchies, the baby uh, stuff. That's a bit the, the way this is smelling. Uh, then let's grab my fiber advent. I already told you we're probably gonna get a little bit boring <laughs> for mine. Uh, green, teal, and turquoise. <laughs> um, yeah, I know. I, I mean, I mean, I made this myself, so I know I have a few of the same um, because that's the way I dyed this one, and I broke it into smaller pieces so yeah boring and for tea <laughs> I got this package of bio hibiscus tea from Bunting tea it is from Germany and I went there this morning so I didn't grab it from my uh, advent box oh, really nice um, this is a 100% um, hibiscus tea 
and bio, so um, better for me. No extras and um, no, uh, yeah, no stuff that should or could harm me. And um, yeah, I am very excited that I found that. I was already looking on Google for hibiscus tea and hibiscus flowers. Um, there's a place in Amsterdam where I've been that sells hibiscus flowers, just like dried apricots and stuff. They also sell hibiscus flowers and they're so nice. So, so nice. Um, so I think I'm gonna order there. I haven't found them closer. They had them at a, a wholesale uh, for restaurants store and um, they stopped selling them. So. Maybe they just didn't sell well or something. But I really miss them, so I think I should treat myself to some. And um, I was also looking for the hibiscus tea online. But I'm happy I found this. I was in Germany um, this morning. I had to run some errands. And then I thought, let's finally go to the Edeka supermarket. Because a friend, a vegan friend, told me they have very good vegan cheese assortments. Yeah, she was right. <laughs> of course she was right. She already went there. She knows. Um, I only have the option for Vio Life here at Albert Heijn. And well, while it was very nice at first for the first taste, it's now kind of disappointing and not that flavorful and not... Yeah, that's just... I mean, if you like really old cheese, you have a very <laughs> distinctive taste. And I really love old cheese. I just don't really like the younger cheese because it doesn't have that much flavor. And yeah, this is just really young cheese, uh, vegan cheese, an alternative for cheese. Um, and although it was very nice for the time being, <laughs> she just told me to expand and um, check out the Edeka assortment. I managed to buy three different kinds. Um, one goat's cheese, which I just had, which was pretty good. I had Robert taste it and he was like, okay, if you would have told me this was goat's cheese, I might have believed you. <laughs> uh, and he's not a huge fan of uh, goat's cheese. So that's a good thing. And then um, I have a, a more nutty flavor. It's also based on almonds. They also had a really nice heavy flavored one, but it was based on walnuts, which I can't have. I left that one there. And uh, the other ones are made with coconut, so that is okay. Uh, so that's what I'm gonna try out. Um, sorry. Uh, Yes. I made the mistake of buying uh, buns. Uh, I asked what it was and she said, well, it is um, multi-grain with some grated carrot. But she forgot to mention that there's also hazelnuts in there. So I'm not sure what the next days will bring. <laughs> Which basically sucks, but hey ho, mistakes are made. I can only do so much and I can only try to keep the rest of the day very low in histamine. Uh, that also means I didn't pack any candy for myself because I can't eat it anyway and I will just wait for a better day. Because of that I decided I would also open a smile vent package. I only have a few left so I'm gonna portion these out over the rest of Advent and uh, yeah. What the lovely Louise gave me today. Oh. oh my goodness, Louise. Um, first, I got two pencils, always handy, with an eraser on top. And it is British, very British. Very nice. Um, but also, this gorgeous shell pin. Look at that. Um, put in this piece of lace. Really nice. Absolutely gorgeous. 
And I think this might also be nice for my West Knits uh, Mild Mania cardigan to keep it closed because it falls open and I also sometimes want it closed. So this is absolutely gorgeous. Thank you so much, Louise. Thank you. Really beautiful. And then, oh, I've got more to show you. We're in a chatty mood today. A sip of tea. I managed to finish my Christmas socks last night. I was really pooped yesterday after the osteopath and cooking and everything. And all I could do <laughs> was knit vanilla. But it is not bad at all. So I got my Christmas uh, socks done in time for Christmas. I need to weave in the ends, but hey ho, I can do that later. So, very happy I finished them. And the yarn I used is all uh, West Yorkshire Spinners yarn. Um, this is, I think, the Candy Cane colorway. And the red, I'm not sure if it was Cayenne, and the green was the Christmas cream. Um, but yeah, I have plenty left for probably another pair. I have to weigh it uh, to be sure, but uh, Definitely for two more legs or two more feet or something fun or whatever. But for now, I'm done with this yarn. <laughs> I want something else. Um, I I'm I like the the yarn, how they make it, the the look of it, but the feel of it while knitting is not my favorite. It's a bit thinner than opal in my opinion, and um, yeah. Now I just want something nice, hand-dyed, soft, and yeah, luxury for my feet. And today I'm going to try and write our Christmas cards. I did not plan to do Christmas cards this year because I was like, uh, I don't have any spoons for that left. Yeah. And then Robert came and he made Christmas cards. And I couldn't resist and told him to make more. So this is our Christmas card this year. And let me hold some paper behind it so you can see it better. Here it is. It is a make your own Christmas tree card. And I really love what he did there. Um, this is one bauble you can hang in there. This is the other one. This is the little hook you use to hang it. And um, of course we had to try if it even worked. It does work, but moving it makes that uh, the ornament falls. But let me see if I can do it. No, not like that. Here's the idea. You can put that down because it has its extra feet like that. Isn't that cute? I really love it. I'm very curious what people who will get a card <laughs> will think of that. Um, so yeah. We'll see. Uh, but today we'll be writing all the Christmas cards so we can put them in the post soon. And... Uh, Hopefully they will make it in time. Not the internationals won't make it in time, I'm sure, but hey, I'm gonna try anyway. And the cats are being uh, snoozy again in their nice blanket. They are very obnoxious at night. Um, somehow they don't want to sleep in their own beds anymore. Uh, all of their beds, they have like five in their room. Five different places to go to sleep. None of them will do and then suddenly the oldest one will do and then in the middle of the night Laia will wake up, scream murder and everything because uh, something is wrong and then I 
get up, go to her room and look inside. And her brother managed to sit on her when she is in the bed and he's going to sit on top of the bed. So we're kind of thinking maybe Binks is starting to suffer dementia because he then can't find the entrance or something. And I talked to a friend who said, well, my cat runs away. Is sitting with us, runs away upstairs and goes screaming like, where is everyone? Yeah, that's something that Binks has been doing for years. So it might be that he is kind of not a derp, but he just doesn't know. Uh, but yeah, then I uh, take Binks off the basket, uh, or off the bed, uh, <laughs> and do what he did to it, so it's open again, put Cat in, put Cat 2 in, and go back to sleep. But my god, annoying beast at the moment. So yeah, hopefully, they will stop doing that soon. <laughs> uh, also, um, talking about uh, Edeka in Germany, I forgot to say, I, I made one photo inside. There were just too many people and I wasn't comfortable taking out my camera. I mean, I was wearing a face mask and it's not like you can really see my face. Um, so yeah, um, the tea, I made a photo of the tea aisle. It was massive, so much tea and wow. I was just totally amazed. Um, I hadn't been in that store for ages and uh, yeah, the assortment was really, really good. So I really liked it there. I'm gonna go there more often, I think. They have a lot of uh, bio food and uh, way more options than we have in the Netherlands, which I think is awesome. So yeah, and with that, I'm gonna say goodbye and I will see you back tomorrow.